Uh, Aaron and Trata Kelly, have you ever seen a flying saucer and or a ghost? I have not. I do have. I do have a, a kind of a ghost story though. Are you ready? Okay. All right. So years ago, I'll try to be brief with my story. But years ago, I was staying at the Monteleone Hotel in New Orleans, which is in the French Quarter, and it is known to be haunted because it's in New Orleans in the French Quarter. And I was alone, and all of a sudden, it was about 3 a.m. in the morning, so it was about the witching hour. The fire alarm goes off, and it wakes me up, obviously. I'm in my pajamas. The alarm is blaring. I have to cover my ears. I peek my head out of the door into the hall, and there's no one there. And I think, that's strange. But the, the, the alarm is blaring, and then all of a sudden, there's a recorded voice that comes on, and it says, evacuate, use the stairs, do not use the elevators. And it replayed over and over and over. So I thought, I got to get out of here, right? So I put my shoes on. I'm still wearing my pajamas. I don't brush my teeth. I don't do anything. I grab like my purse. I go out in the hall. I'm the only one in the hall. And my ears are ringing from this alarm that's so loud. And I'm covering my ears like this. And I'm on the 14th floor. So I go down the stairs. And I'm the only one in this on the stairs. And I think, what is going on? Am I should I have taken the elevator? Did everyone else take the elevator? But I'm just following the orders of the recorded voice over the thing. And the whole way down, I'm still covering my ears because the alarm is so loud. I get down to the lobby door. I push open the door. I step out into the lobby. And all of a sudden, the alarm goes off. And all these people turn and look at me because I have just like bounded into the lobby somewhat frantically in my pajamas with my hair tangled from sleep with both my hands over my ears. And I'm looking at them and they're looking at me and there's no alarm. So I go to the, de the front desk and my, ear my ears are still ringing from this alarm. That's how loud it was. I cannot stress to you how loud it was. I go to the front desk and I say, are we supposed to be evacuating? And the guy at the front desk says, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, the fire alarm. And he said, what alarm? And then he called the manager and the manager came and the manager says there was no alarm. And lo and behold, I was the only person apparently in the entire Hotel Monteleone that heard this alarm. And it went off as soon as I stepped into the lobby and no one knew what I was talking about. That is the start of a really fantastic novel. So you should save that story. And I'm looking forward to reading the expansion. What, what else do you hear that no one else can hear from that moment forward? And I want to hear from people. If anyone's ever experienced anything like that before, please tell me. Because I'm telling you, that alarm was so loud, my ears were ringing. And I was the only one who heard it. That is a fantastic story. You built in the suspense. I was on the edge of my seat. If that didn't sell some books, by golly, nothing we're going to talk about this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>